All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to talk about writing headlines. Okay, so in the uh, in the blog planner document that we were going through in the last video, you can see that we have headlines over here. And I must tell you that there probably isn't a better use of your time as a content marketer than to learn the art and science of writing good headlines because we live in a world of snippets, all right? And what I mean by that is that the social web has turned into this place where all we do is take a little snippet of something and we put it out there, whether it's a tweet, it's a little 140 character snippet of information, or it's a Facebook status update, or it's an, a quick email, or uh, whatever it is um, that we are using to distribute the content, the, the, whatever that snippet is, it needs to be able to compel somebody to click on it, to go get the rest of it. All right. And the social web requires that you create compelling things that compelling snippets of information so that you can get those clicks. All right. So what is it that, that, we need to learn in order to, to create these compelling snippets. Well, it's creating better headlines, how to write compelling uh, snippets of information that get people to take action. All right. Now, there is an, you know, you could, again, we could have an entire course on writing headlines um, and how to write headlines. And, um, but I want to leave you with a few things in this certification to implore you to get out there and learn about writing more uh, compelling headlines. The first one is that you should be spending more time, my guess is, you know, most people that I know in content marketing need to be spending more time writing headlines and, and uh, trying out uh, different headlines and thinking about the headline of a particular uh, piece of content that they create because again, it's the big thing that everyone sees to decide whether or not they want more information or not. And if the headline is bad, it doesn't really matter how great the content was. No one will see it. It's really a sad thing, but you really need to be spending, I, you know, you could say as much time as you spent to create the piece itself, you should spend on the headline. I'm not sure I'll go that far, but you definitely need to spend time on the headline. It should not be something that you just crank out real fast as an afterthought of creating the piece. So the second thing I'll tell you is that you need to start a headline swipe file. Okay. And uh, the way you do that is you just create a word document and you put the words headline swipe file at the top. And you start saving good headlines in this document. So if you see a good headline come across your computer or your desk or whatever, t type it out into this swipe file so that it's always here for you to have inspiration. Now, underneath this video, you're going to have access to our headline swipe file. This is the swipe file that I keep on my desk, that my managing editors keep on their desk. Uh, to think of good headlines to put on pieces of content. There are a lot of good proven headlines in this swipe file. But if you just go out onto Google and, and, and query headline swipe file, you're going to find lots of different swipe files that you can download and use. And you might find one that you like better than this one. Um, or you might be able to add the, the, the headlines that you find in somebody else's swipe file to this one and start to create a really big swipe file. But this one's nice and short for you. Um, I, I kept only ones that I know are real good proven winners. And so I want to show you how to use this before we move on, because I really want you to know how important it is to write good headlines and to start studying headlines and to start understanding like what makes somebody take action and there are three types of headlines in this particular swipe file. There's your social proof headlines, there's your threat headlines, and some gain headlines in here. And there are some other types that you could you could use and you can find in other swipe files. And uh, I, 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 I would encourage you to get out there and do that and to start looking for more headline types. But look at this one, right? Um, savvy, smart, sexy people do X, Y, Z. 
All right. That's a headline formula, right? That's a headline formula that you can use on your own content. So you could say smart people invest in mutual funds or sexy people drink this weight loss shake or, um, you know, so, and it doesn't even have to be savvy, smart, sexy. It could be any, any positive, uh, descriptor of somebody that's something that people would want to be. And you just tell them they do X, Y, Z, um, why I blank and maybe you should too, right? Uh, get desired result like desired group or person. All right. So what would this one be? So get desired result like a desired group or person. Uh, let's say you sold um, weapons and ammunition like guns and stuff like that. You might say um, protect yourself like the NRA uh, or protect yourself like a member of the NRA or um, protect yourself like a green beret or something like that, right? So you get desired result. And for somebody that's a big um, a gun advocate, they might find that impressive to be like a desired group of person. Look at some of these threat headlines down here. Um, I've lied to you for some period now, for, for some time period. So I've lied to you for three years now, all right? If you put that as a headline, that's gonna be a controversial headline. Now you need to deliver on your headlines. Because one of the things I want you to understand is that a headline is a promise. It's a promise. And when someone clicks on that headline and goes and looks at it, looks at your piece, you need to deliver on that promise or you just blew up everything that you're trying to do in this funnel. All right. You blew up your top, the top of your funnel. And so nothing's going to happen at the bottom uh, if, you're, if you're blowing people up at the top of the funnel. If you don't blank now, you'll hate yourself later. X shocking mistakes killing your blank. Don't try blank without, uh, you know, don't don't try uh, painting your house without reading this manual first, or, you know, without reading this checklist first, and then your blog post is a checklist, right? Uh, blank may be dangerous to something precious. So it could, again, let's say you're a painting company. Um, your bedroom paint, may be dangerous to your child, all right? Um, so those are all threat headlines to get people to take action. Now, what about gain headlines? These are great headlines too. Um, to people that want to grow better tomatoes but can't get started, all right? So let's, you know, whatever that result is that you are selling, you want to say to people that want to whatever, but can't get started. So this would be an introductory type post to some sort of subject, right? Um, where desired result is and how do you get it, all right? So um, this could be where financial freedom is and how to get it, okay? That's the type of headline that will get clicked out on the social web. It'll get opens. It'll get opens when people see it because they're like, that explains what's in the post. It looks like it's, there's something interesting there. And these are proven headlines. These are proven winner formulas that you can use. Now, how do you use a headline swipe file? Well, you don't, you can just take these and use them verbatim and plug in your own circumstances. But the better way to do it is to print this thing off and then go grab yourself a cup of coffee or some tea or something and then read each one of these and try to figure out why each one works. You know, think to yourself, why does that one work and why does this one work? And once you get through to the end, you will start to have a better understanding of how to write headlines of your own that don't, you know, that aren't verbatim to this uh, to these formulas, but that have characteristics of these formulas in them, because it's the characteristics of these formulas that work, not necessarily using them exactly verbatim. Uh, but when you're just getting started and you need inspiration, um, definitely come in here and use some of these formulas. All right. But, uh, I do, uh, I am encouraging you to become a better headline writer, to become somebody that understands why uh, someone would take action and click on something and open it and read it uh, based on the headline. All right, so with that, let's move on to the next step.